Introducing the Crusher. Hey YouTube, Al here again. Uh, today I'm smoking some Balkan mixture in my rusticated Greek briar. Today's video is going to be uh, on the educational side, I guess you could say. I'm going to build another pipe, and uh, I'll show you that. I bought another pre-drilled briar block uh, from pipesandcigars.com. Uh, the hard work's already done. The hole's drilled. The hole for the stem is already drilled. It's just a big block, and uh, you can pretty much design it whatever way you want. Um, I'll probably be making a another like a uh, straight billiard or a Canadian style, uh, but this one's going to be a little different. I think I'm actually going to make a YTPC pipe, and what I mean by that is um, I've gotten some inspiration from uh, just over my shoulder the Stanley Cup. I figured how cool would it be to make a pipe and try to engrave a lot of the YouTube uh, handles from the pipe community on the pipe itself. So kind of make it like a little min, mini Stanley Cup type pipe. Um, never done anything that crazy before. I have built a pipe before. If you look through my other videos, I believe I have a three part series educational type on how to make your own pipe. So this is going to be another one. But what I will do is um, I'll put it all on this video. I'll just chop it up and just combine them all that way it'll only be one video and you don't have to go hunting for multiple parts so that's the block and again I just use hand tools I have a small vise at the end of my bench that I put the block in and uh, I was trying to use a coping saw but I broke the blade so I just use a big hacksaw carefully and I have a couple of rasps and files and a lot of sandpaper a lot a lot of sandpaper uh, and also um, I was given a, a Dremel engraver as a Christmas gift this year I've used it a few times already uh, it's one of these it's got a little uh, point on there and it's adjustable uh, as far as the depth goes on how deep you can go with the uh, the cuts or the lines whatever you want to do so I'm gonna be using that again it's gonna be a work in progress I'll pause the video here and uh, I'll show you how I mark out the pipe. Hey everyone, I'm back. Uh, I just drew out the basic shape on the pipe with a pencil. You can kind of see, I'm going to make a really fat wide rim bowl on there. And just some preliminary lines, of where I'm going to cut, what I want to keep. Transfer it all the way around. And uh, as far as the circle shapes go, I just use whatever circles I can find, uh, sometimes a socket or uh, for the top was actually a K-cup that was perfectly round and it was the right size so that's what I'll be using for that and as far as drawing the lines just a trusty ruler and a pencil and um, just draw out the rough shape and like for some of these you can kind of measure and just keep transferring down the same measurement uh, the block is not 100% square, unfortunately, so you just got to kind of eyeball most of it and use the ruler to help you with the rest. And hopefully with that, you can get pretty close to what you want to do. And when you make your cuts, just um, try to go straight. Uh, take your time. That's the biggest thing. Uh, try not to be in a rush when you're doing this. Um, take your time. Just go slow with the saw. Cut, you know, make one cut at a time and stop. Take a look. And then go on to your next cut, and then your next cut, and your next cut. So hopefully this works out well, and I'm going to go cut it right now. And I'll come back with the rough shape done. Here's the rough shape with the cuts made, and the pipe's done. Awesome. No, it's not done. Uh, it's the rough shape. Again, if you look at the previous section, I made this cut first, and then I made this cut going this way. Uh, again, just take your time. Be really careful. Uh, just follow the line. Um, again, the, the block's not really straight, so I don't use a level or anything. I just eyeball it. I put it in the vise. And if it looks straight to me, and then I just try to cut along with that line with the hacksaw. And I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, same thing here. I also go just a little bit 
beyond the lines because I can always file it to the final shape with the rasps. And this section here, you can see it doesn't quite come to the end. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to cut that or not because it's really thin. So I think I'm just going to get the rasps, start knocking these corners off. And I'll look and see here. I might just do this part with the rasp in the file. So, yeah, I think that's it right there. But that's it. Total time, maybe 15 minutes, if that. Uh, the rasps and the sanding is what takes the longest time, believe it or not. So I will get onto that, and I will add to the video. Hey, YouTube, I figured I'd show you a little of the filing work being done. I have it in the vise here, and you just grab your rasp, just knock the corner off. That's pretty much it. Just follow the line all the way around. Okay, out here again. Uh, the rough shape has now been filed out. Uh, you can see all the lines pretty much filed right to the lines. If not, the line has actually disappeared. Some spots you could still see a little bit. So it's pretty much there, the rough shape. It's going to be a big ass freaking pipe. Huge walls around the sides. Uh, big shank as well. Um, I'm probably going to rusticate the shank and leave the rest smooth. And like I said, I'm going to try to carve names into the body of the pipe all the way up, maybe up to the rim right about there. So it's pretty much round for the most part. And I have a lot of sanding to do. And just for comparison from this other pipe that I have, I mean, you can kind of see... Yeah, and this is not, I mean, it's a small pipe, but it's not like a tiny little pipe. So this one's going to be a beast and a half, big time. So I'll uh, end it here. I'm going to start sanding, uh, probably starting tomorrow. I think I'm done for today. And uh, I said before, a lot of sandpaper. It's actually a lot of grits of sandpaper. I start with 60. I'll sand the whole thing down with 60. And then that's going to take most of these cut lines from the files and rasps out and then I go to 100 or 120 whatever I have smooths it down even more then I'll do 220 and then I think I have 500 and then after the 500 I go to a thousand and then 1500 and then 2000 so uh, hopefully on the next one after all the filing you'll see it should be perfectly smooth when it's at the next step I should say so that's it I'll end it here and uh, I'll update in a little while. YouTube out here again. Uh, this time I just finished sanding with some 60 grit. Or I should say I'm just about done sanding with some 60 grit. You can see here the rough shape is pretty much done. It's pretty much a circle all the way around. Uh, I still got a little bit more sanding to do with the 60 grit and um, Again, the 60 grit's just going to take a lot of the um, the cut marks from the rasps and the files. It's going to smooth that out a little bit and finalize the shape. So I'm going to hit it again with some 60, and all I'm doing is with a sanding block and some 60 grit. And I'm just you know hitting hitting the high spots. Just trying to be careful, especially with the shank. You don't want to crack the shank. So when you sand the shank down. Just uh, don't put a lot of pressure, just kind of go easy. Again, you're always eyeballing, seeing where you got to sand some more, and you just keep going like that pretty much. Trying to get the high spots down, trying to smooth it out as best you can. So I have a little bit more. I've been doing this about 15, 20 minutes. I'm going to hit some more with 60, try to get it down, and... Uh, then I'm gonna go to the 120, and I'll show. You, I'll come back with the uh, after I'm done with the 120. So hopefully you can see the difference. Still a lot of 
a lot of rough spots, a lot of rough marks. But hopefully by the time I'm done with the 120, most of that will be smoothed out. So I'll pause it here and come back in a little while. Back. Uh, this is the pipe, all fully sanded. I went all the way to 500 grit. It's just about perfect where I want it. I already taped off. I'm gonna leave this part smooth and I'm gonna rusticate the shank, which I already started right there. I'm just using a Dremel with a little uh, round bit, cutting bit, engraving bit. So I'm gonna finish the shank all the way around and then uh, I'll go on to the name carving. Uh, try to make the YTPC pipe, uh, putting the names on, every, on here. Um, had a hard time with it, even doing it in pencil, I couldn't really do it. So there was no way uh, with my hands being shaky or whatever, uh, there's no way I could have carved the names in there if I couldn't even write them in pencil. So what I did was instead is I just sanded it down. It's fully sanded and I put uh, rustication on the shank and I also put some rustication in some spots here and there. Also right there. So I guess to make it look like it's a smooth pipe with a little rustication here and there as if the rustication is trying to come out. So that's my compromise, unfortunately. Uh, that's the way it ended up. Uh, you know, it is what it is. I really did want to try to put everybody's names on there, but uh, it just it didn't come out right. It didn't come out the way I, I envisioned it would have. So uh, unfortunately, that's the way it's going to be. So um, it's fully sanded. I'm going to apply the stain now. Um, I just use uh, Phoebing's leather dye. I'm going to go with the ox blood this time. So I don't have any red pipe, so I'm going to make a red pipe. So I'm going to use uh, the ox blood leather dye and you can use a cotton ball, but I just use pipe cleaners. And you just put it on there, try not to get any inside the bowl or inside the shank hole. So just go slowly around and uh, I'll show you when that's done. Back. Uh, here's the first coat of the ox blood stain on the pipe looks kind of purple but I'm gonna let that dry and um, give it another coat or two and hopefully it turns into a nice deep dark red but the good thing is you can see some of this the, the uh, wood grain is coming through on some parts of the pipe um, there was a very nice looking bird's eye in the front here so hopefully that comes out as well once this dries so uh, I'll pause it here and we'll uh, show you in a few minutes what it looks like. Val's back. Uh, showing you the pipe here. Uh, I put about four or five coats of the ox blood leather dye on there. And the pipe ended up turning really purple. It didn't turn into the dark red that I wanted. So I ended up sanding it back down. Uh, I could see some of the wood coming through. And I'm just going to go ahead and stain it. Uh, with tan to see if it'll turn it brown. Um, I really didn't want a purple pipe so uh, I'm gonna try a different color and I'll come back and I'll show you what that looks like. 